The dispute over who wrote which Federalist Papers is an ongoing debate, but we can quickly make our view of it by building a simple linear model in Keras. It's not deep learning yet, but we're getting there. We're going to use Keras to build and train a logistic regression classifier using word frequencies. Aside from data, the code will look very similar to the linear regression module. Keras makes it easy to swap one model for another. In our overall scheme of machine learning here, we're going to be focusing on the program Keras model part of this, but we're also going to train on the data and then look at possible predictions and weights to see how our model is actually working. We've already read in data from the previous module, so let's jump into specifying the Keras model. This should feel eerily familiar. Start from your previous logistic regression code. Import the usual Keras things like sequential, dense, activation, and SGD. Now, create a new sequential model, and this time we'll have three inputs, the three word frequencies, and three outputs, the three author scores. To convert the scores to probability, you can use the softmax activation, which computes exactly what we did in the previous module by exponentiating the scores. Our optimizer will keep it simple. 0 0.01 is the default learning rate, so you can leave it out if you like. But when we compile, what should we use as the loss? Mean squared error doesn't make sense for trying to predict a single class. Predicting class 2 instead of 0 is bad, but not any worse than predicting class 1. Instead, we want to reward the model for putting more probability on the correct class. Statisticians have determined a reasonable score in this scenario called categorical cross entropy. We're not going to go into the details of the equation, but it essentially sums the log of the probabilities the model predicts for the correct author and multiplies the results by negative one. So minimizing this value requires predicting a greater share of probability in the correct category. To actually use categorical cross entropy, all you need to do is say so in the loss argument. Remember, loss is the value we're trying to mathematically minimize by varying our weight values. The optimizer is as before, but for a metric, let's use accuracy. Note that this isn't what we're minimizing, but it's a more human understandable score and should improve as the model improves. You can pull out specific columns of the word frequency data to use. Here, columns 12, 72, and 58. Now, we only want to train on data points where we know the author. The disputed papers are coded with author equals four, so let's separate those. Almost there. Before we can train a classification model with categorical cross entropy, we have to convert our author labels into one hot format. This means converting the integer into an array of zeros, but put a one in the position of that author. So author zero out of three becomes 1, 0, 0. Keras has a function to do exactly this in the NPUtils submodule called toCategorical. Call it on the data points of known authors to convert to one hot format. Finally, you're ready to train a model to predict authorship. Do model.fit with the word frequencies and labels of the known authors. Try training for 10 epics just to get started. That's all there is to it. Just a few lines of simple code to embed your machine learning. Okay. Let's see what this model thinks of our unknown documents. If it's confident, that may tell us something. For classification models, you can do model.predictProbA with some input data to get the probabilities out. Hmm, it looks like most of these are straight Hamilton, but look closer at the data. You'll find that the model right now is mostly biased toward Hamilton since he simply wrote so many of the articles. We may need to add more variables or try another approach, but you can at least understand how the model works. Try using different words as the variables to see if you can improve the model. This would be changing the columns that you pull out, or changing the number of variables that you pull out. Also, think about transforming and combining variables. Maybe the frequency of as times the frequency of upon is important, as when an author may use them together in a phrase. The underlying relationship may not be linear. This implementation is explicitly very simple and works with a small amount of data. Don't worry too much about building a great model yet. It's more important just to get familiar with the techniques. This whole unit is just a crash course in machine learning with Keras. Even though we've only scratched the surface, you're already starting to build real models. We started with simple linear regression and basic computations, but now you've done both categorical and regressive models. If you're willing to dig a little, 
and maybe practice your Middle English. Level up to the next unit for deep learning in Keras for font recognition.